the Taz Show. Yeah, yeah. Talking wrestling, sports, and beyond. I know Randy Orton's got a rep of he's not the uh, friendliest cat in the world when he meets people. I, I got to tell you this right now. Uh, they're, they're socially, uh, f- from what I know of Randy and traveling with Randy, there's not a damn thing wrong with Randy Orton. Randy Orton is a very, 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 very good guy. Um, I've always gotten along great with Randy. I have not seen or talked to him in, in years. And I know when I see him again, we'll shake hands, laugh, hug, talk, reminisce a little bit, and move on. He's a good dude, man. So, listen, if guys in the guys in the gym and you're going up to him bothering him, that's just ridiculous. That's when you're eating and in the gym or with a family member in public, I'm telling fans, leave these guys and girls alone. Leave them alone. You know, someone tweeted me yesterday, I, 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 uh, and I didn't get a chance to reply to the guy. I, was, I went and got a cup of coffee at a joint down the road over here in, in the city. A little Tim Hortons action, right? You don't get much Tim Hortons, you know, in, in New York. It's like more of a Canadian. What kind of uh, donut did you get? I didn't get a donut, sir. You I, went to I, Tim Hortons and didn't get a donut? I didn't get a donut because I, I try to keep, I'm trying to, you know, keep my physique down. So, so. Doing I, a good job. I, I, thank you. I had a little, I had a little, a little Java. And, and uh, there was a gentleman in there that recognized me, unbeknownst to me, because then when I, uh, when I was heading to, to, to the, the vehicles, um, I saw a tweet. Hey, I think I just saw you, buddy, in uh, Tim Hortons. I don't want to bother you. I know you were getting a cup of coffee, and uh, I just want to tell you I'm a big fan of yours. See, I'm just saying, like, I, and I want to reply to this guy, and I'll find his tweet and thank him for that because that was nice of him. Now, I would have hooked it up with a picture or whatever or signed it, whatever you wanted to do. But I'm just saying, if somebody's in the gym training or somebody's eating or somebody's with a, a family member, their kid, their boyfriend, girlfriend, husband, wife, mom, dad, whatever, leave them alone. Trust me. Lee, you want to yell something? Hey, big fan, blah, 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 give me your name, it's Fernand. Whatever you want to yell, that's fine. Don't, when you approach someone like that, you, 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 these are people. These are not machines. They're not the, just the characters you see on TV. You guys got to, I, I don't want to stereotype. I hate doing that. You guys, I mean, because most fans are awesome. But you do get some people that get entitled and like, oh, Randy Owens a douchebag because he wouldn't give me an autograph in the gym. Oh, well, you know what? He wasn't working out. He was leaving the gym. Well, maybe he had a bad workout. Maybe he was training and his shoulder was killing him or his knee hurt or his back hurt, and he's got to wrestle tonight, and he's concerned about it, and he's worried about how he's going to get through the injury. Maybe he's got a problem at home. Maybe, maybe who knows? So maybe it's because the guy is not all rainbows and butterflies because you want to take a picture with him or meet him. And then you got to want social media and bury the guy about it. And then all the media sites pick it up and bury him too. But I'll tell you what, guys that have been wrestlers and been to the, to, to the epic area area known as the WWE, <laughs> the highest, highest, my best friends, as we all know. People, let me tell you about my best friend. You know how bad and how tough the road is. It's a grind. And mentally, it wears you down. And you get a little testy at times. You know, and Randy seems like you know, people like to try to eat, not provoke him. Because he's the last guy you want to get into a fight with. Trust me, <laughs> he could be a nasty dude. Okay, just, just, just. I don't. You know, it's leave the guy alone. He's working out. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Apparently, Randy tweeted out at the guy or whatever and said, "Get a life, whatever." I. Uh, there, there's the tweet. It's on the. If you guys watch the video, it says, "Apparently, this is from Randy Orton's Twitter. Apparently, I hurt a fan's feelings." When I told him to F off at the gym yesterday, that's news. With a question, but that's news? Question mark, my bad. Uh, been happening for 15 years. Hashtag get a life. Well, see, that's what I'm saying. I, I, I don't disagree with him. I mean, you know, really, I, I don't disagree. I got to tell you. And he says you're right there, right? I've, it's been happening 15 years, meaning that he's, Randy knows that he's not going to be, you know, the most jovial guy when you walk up to him. It's not just Randy. A lot of guys <clears throat> act like that because they're just not in the mood. But sometimes fans, some fans, the small minority of fans, think that guys need to be and girls need to be in the mood all the time to embrace you and to be the, the well, I pay your bills. That's the best line. I think you get it on Twitter. Well, why are you getting mad at me? I've been supporting the show forever. I listen and watch the show all the time, Taz. I, I loved you when ECW champion. I loved you then when you were a SmackDown commentator. I loved you in TNA. And now you act like a douche. Well, maybe you acted like a douche first. 
I mean, every, you know, action gets a reaction. And that's where sometimes people get a little confused. A small minority of fans think that just because they're fans, that they had carte, they have carte blanche to do and say whatever the F they want. And that's not cool. It's not the way it is. Not just with wrestlers, but anybody who has any sort of fame. 